In this pivot table tutorial, we're going to look at how we can group data together. And we've got two types of data that we can group here. We've got some employee data with an employee number, the date they started, which is the first field that we can group, and their age, which we can also group, and their sex. So we'll first of all insert a pivot table, and I'm using Excel 2010, and we'll let it go to a new worksheet. And we want the date started, their age, and we'll count their sex. So first of all, we want to move their age up here to the column labels. And we'll put their sex in there. It's just something to count. It doesn't matter which item you count. Okay, so at the moment, it looks pretty um, ugly. And we want to summarize it a bit further so it's easier to read. And the first thing we'll do is we'll group our dates. So we just click on any date and right click and choose group. And we'll look at them grouped by months. And then we'll group it into quarters and years because our data starts in January 2012 and ends in December 2013. So if we don't group it by years, it will group January 2012 and January 2013 together, which obviously would be misleading. So we'll click OK. OK, so it's getting it a little bit easier to read. Now we've got it grouped by the quarters. But the next thing we want to group is other ages. And we can group them into different bands. And it works the same as the months. You just right click on anyone, choose group. And it detects the starting age or the minimum age in our data series. And it also detects the older. So it ranges between 19 and 63. And then this is the band that we're grouping by. So in 10 year bands, and we can change that to five if we want to, but 10 I think will be okay. And just click okay. All right, so that looks a lot better. We can see that in the 39 to 48 age group, we've got 29 employees and so on and so forth. If we wanted to see, for example, who those two employees were, we can double click on the field and it drills down and creates an extract on a new sheet of the two records that make up that summarized value of two. So that's quite a handy thing to be able to do um, to drill down into a pivot table and get an extract of the data. And that's actually separate to our raw data. Our raw data is still there and it's untouched. So let's take a look at how we can group this by weeks instead of by what we have here, which is months, quarters, and years. So we'll right click again and choose group. And we'll click these once to deselect them. And then in the days selection, once we click on it, we can alter this number of days down here. So if we wanted it by week, we could type in a seven. If you wanted it fortnightly, you could type in 14 and so on and so forth. But we'll do, actually we might do 14, otherwise we'll have a lot of data. And click OK. So now you can see it actually gives you the date range. And there's a big long list of all the fortnights and the number of people that joined in those fortnights and what age group they fell into. The other thing we might like to do here is give our labels a bit more of a meaningful label. Instead of just column labels, for example, we'll call this age bands. And here we'll call this fortnights. Okay. And if we were to refresh our pivot table, those labels stay there. So there we have grouping by dates and grouping by numbers into, well, in this case, age bands, but it could be any type of grouping that you like, you'd like to use. Mm -hmm.